Very important part of my life. Faith after my dad passed away played a very big part in my life because a lot of times you go down the road and you know there's that there's the phrase you have to walk by faith and not by sight. A lot of times you walk by faith, not sight nor experience, and you just don't know. So you gotta have that faith. The faith is the thing for one of the many things that can anchor us and that should anchor us. So yeah, when and it's funny. Yeah, it's true. Faith is the anchor, man. Uh, it's funny when my dad, because we had a complicated relationship, he, when I was five years old, our bonding was come with me to the gym, sit in the corner, but that was our bonding. And then as I got a little older, eight, nine, 10, he'd let me work out a little bit. He'd take me on the wrestling mats. He'd kick the shit out of me in a good way. Um, and so we, his capacity to love, my dad was kicked out of the house when he was 13. I'll tell you a quick story about my dad. So my dad's dad died when he was 13. That Christmas, my dad's mom had another boyfriend. The boyfriend got drunk, urinated on the turkey. My dad's 13. Small town um, up in Nova Scotia. My dad at 13 grabbed a shovel and he drew a line in the sand and said, if you cross that line to the drunk boyfriend who peed on the turkey, I'm gonna kill you. And so the drunk crossed the line. My dad hit him in the head, knocked him out cold, didn't kill him. Cops came. When the cops came at that time, the cops told my grandmother, my dad's mom, when this man uh, becomes conscious again, one of these two, they're gonna kill each other. So one of them should go. You know what's next. So my grandmother said to my dad, you gotta go. Wow. So he was kicked out at 13. My point is, that's his capacity for love, right there. So that's the man that raised me. Respect is given when it's earned. No one's gonna give you shit. Go out and earn it, work hard get up with me before the sun, come to the gym. So all that stuff I got from my old man. And the reason why I'm telling this story is because even though I didn't reconcile with my dad, I, I think one of the saving graces when we talk about faith is if you have a complicated relationship with your dad and you grow up, you start to look at the world differently like, oh, I, don't, I, I wanna be the opposite of my dad. I, I don't wanna have that quality. I, I wanna have my own quality. I, I, I don't wanna do it like that. I wanna do it like this. I don't know if I like that, I'd do it like this. But then when he, when he died, and you really start looking at the stuff that was really important and the stuff that really matters, then you realize, man, I got a lot of great qualities from my old man. Thank you, dad. And that's the thing that helps me in a way reconcile with my old man and that today I can say, hey, thank you pops for, you know, Ha, 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 ha.